Hey everybody, welcome back. Talking today about the claims that are being made by Stacey Abrams that violent gun crime shootings is the number one cause of childhood death and that is minors 0 to 17 which technically means 18 and that's important to understand when you're looking at these statistics when they say 17 they mean the entire length of 17 up to your 18th birthday so 0 to 17 means 0 to 18 if you follow me but the claim is minors age 0 to 17 are the number one cause of death in Georgia higher than vehicular homicide or vehicular death and before I get going I want to give a shout out of course to Keith and to Joseph for reaching out to the channel it means a lot it really does I appreciate it it goes a long way towards helping out the strays that we take care of here for those of you who are new to the channel we take care of a lot of stray animals mostly cats in our neck of the woods a lot of people like to dump animals out here because it's kind of secluded and we try to help them out and also um, shout out to Chris I did get the package I have a PO box down below Chris sent me a box I just picked it up this morning I've not had a chance to open it yet but if I remember correctly this is a pet habitat um, and again supplies of any kind are much appreciated thank you very much but we'll get back to this this is triggered by for me a commercial where a nurse or she says that she's a nurse I don't know if she's really a nurse or not because this is television and television is theater even commercials are theater and you should scrutinize them very carefully this woman claims to be a nurse it's very likely an actor that um, she works in an ER and the number one uh, cause of death is children that are shot and not vehicular incidences and I'm going to show you a snippet of that commercial again courtesy of tags I can't show the whole thing if I show the whole thing I'll get in trouble I've tried that before when I've caught things like this in uh, commercial ads and I've tried to throw a video out about it because people need to see how they're being deceived so shut your feelings off shut the feelings off shush leave them at the door pay attention to the statistics and the logic of what I'm going to show you here because you are being lied to and I can demonstrate this with their own statistics I'm using their own data so she I'm going to show you the clip here where she makes this claim the leading cause of death for young people in Georgia isn't car crashes it's firearms real short part from it but you get the point she's claiming that children being shot and again this is 0 to 17 which really means 0 to 18 is higher than vehicular deaths furthermore Stacey Abrams who of course this commercial is for because she's running for the uh, governor of the state of Georgia again she ran she has run before and failed She's running again and she's making this claim. She also makes this claim personally in another ad. I'm gonna show you a clip from that really quickly. No, we're not gonna stop all incidences of gun violence. But right now, the number one killer of children in Georgia, it's not car accidents, it's not cancer, it's guns. That's a solvable problem. And right now the person in office does not intend to solve it. And there you are, Abrams backing up this claim that she is telling you and playing into the emotions and it is an emotional video if you watch the whole thing and you can find it on her Facebook page if you're looking for it um, it's the it's very emotionally charged and that is done deliberately so that you do not think about it you just get upset and you don't think all right so is it true well it's been fact checked it's been fact checked uh, WJXT Atlanta let's see what WJXT Atlanta has to say we checked the article and the federal statistics behind it according to the CDC from 2016 to 2020 firearms have been the leading cause of death among young people in Georgia ages 1 to 19 
All right, according to WJXT Atlanta, it's true. Where do they get their information from? Well, let me show you where they got it from, right here. This is from Trust It's True Index. And it says the Georgia statistics in 2020 are in line with national totals from the CDC. So the claim in the political advertisement that the leading cause of death for young people in Georgia is firearms, the trust index rates as true. Note that they say is firearms. That's important to understand when they say is firearms because the trust index is saying firearms and they're talking about violent crimes. So what are the actual statistics? So is any of this actually true? Well, they claim to get their data from the CDC. So why don't we go to the CDC and take a look for ourselves? This is the CDC, Center for Disease Control, and this is Whiskers, W-I-S-Q-A-R-S. -S, and you can look this up for yourself and it will provide you charts as you type it in. Leading cause of death reports, 81 to 2020. Uh, 1999 to 2020 national and regional blah 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 and you see I put in the census you put in the census for the United States now I have another one that I'm going to show you in a few minutes but as far as whiskers is concerned they can only show you uh, quadrants so there's four quadrants or the entire United States that's what you can look at so we're going to look at US statistics first now the first thing that you need to understand is that the statistics that are being provided by the DNC and Stacey Abrams are going from age 0 to 19, not 0 to 17. And remember I told you that 0 to 17 actually means 0 to 18 because it counts it up to just before your birthday. So if you read statistics from 0 to 19, you're actually getting 0 to 20. Does that make sense? Uh, if you follow me along, they're using data from 0 to 20 and incorporating suicides into the data. So let's move across here and see what that looks like. Here's your ages 1 to 19 or 1 to 20 if you will. 2020, all races, both sexes, total deaths, and you go to traffic, motor vehicle traffic deaths. 3,639. That's for the entire country, okay? And again, you can go to Whiskas and you can, you can play with this all day and find any kind of numbers you want. Now, firearm deaths, ages 1 to 20, 2,801. Suicides, 1 to 19 slash 1 to 20. Firearm related suicides, 1,293. Now, if you, you're adding two extra age categories, 19 and 20, and including an extra almost 1,300 for suicides from firearms, your numbers will be higher than the motor vehicle deaths, which was 3,600 and change. It's considerably higher. What are the real statistics? All right, let's change the numbers. Age is 1 to 17, which again is 1 to 18. Motor vehicle, 2,159. Drowning is high. I just noticed that. Drowning, 753, and poisoning, 502. How many kids are getting poisoned? That's crazy. So, motor vehicle traffic, 2,159 and this is unintentional injuries and see firearm down on that list look down the list you see firearms 2.6 accidental firearm deaths 120 however homicide deaths is what what we're actually looking for so we go to homicide statistics cause of death firearm 1366 and it's not that that's no big deal but remember we're putting our emotions aside and just looking at the numbers there's a that's a huge difference that's a difference of, of almost 800 deaths firearms related and now we'll jump to suicides suicides by firearm 721 
which is uh, still lower, actually, if you include the suicide deaths. Suffocation, 747, I guess uh, hangings, I imagine. But I think that's really interesting. That's a huge difference between what they're telling you. But that's a national average. Is there a way that we can look at just Georgia? Wouldn't that be interesting? Because, again, Whiskas only looks at regions. They break up the United States into four quadrants. So you can look at the whole U.S. or you can look at West, Midwest, North, South, you get it. But you know what? There is a way. We can, in fact, look at just Georgia statistics. This is how. By going to Oasis, Online Analytical Statistical Information System, which is operated by the Department of Public Health and Safety. Accessing the Georgia Department of Public Health data warehouse. And you can get a lot of really interesting charts in here as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the link that says mortality. What does it say under mortality? I'm going to run this down for you and you can see you can build your own charts. And it works the same way. Actually, this is more efficient than what they had on the CDC. So I clicked deaths, age groups, 0 to 17, which again, what does that mean? 0 to just before your 18th birthday. So 0 to 18 years of age, right? 0 to 17, Georgia as the whole state, because you can select counties and other areas specifically in Georgia and look at those statistics. So I picked the entire state of Georgia right? External cause, homicide. All races, all ethnicities, all sexes, so on and so forth. Let's see what that looks like. I selected a subcategory of motor vehicle crashes. So how many children were killed in 2020 of motor vehicle accidents? 199. 199, almost 200. Statistically, that's 200. All right, that's our number. Let's change the subcategory to homicide. Homicide deaths, ages 0 to 17. Georgia, 89. And that's homicide, all forms, not just shootings. 89, less than half of the motor vehicle accident causes. Now, I'm only, I'm not looking at um, suicide or other external causes here, but just homicides. And it's not specific as to what type of homicide that is. It could have been a kid that was beat to death. It could have been a kid that was stabbed. It doesn't specify here, but it's less than half on their own government website in the state of Georgia. They're lying to you. They're, they're, they're straight out lying to you. And people need to see this. Again, please, shut the emotions off. I know that in the West, we are very emotionally charged. You have been conditioned to react emotionally to pretty much everything that you hear so that they can twist you and control what it is that you see and hear. And you fall for it too easily. People are not that smart. No matter how educated they are, no matter how much experience they have, most people are not that smart. And most people are very lazy, and they're not going to sit here and do what I just did. They're not going to see a commercial like that, get disturbed by it, and say, you know what, I wonder if that's true, because I don't trust this. I don't trust Stacey Abrams as a politician. I don't trust any politician. All right, they got into politics for a reason. It's for money, fame, and power. Not to help people. I don't believe that. I think it's rare that you have a politician that actually wants to help anybody. And I don't think Stacey Abrams is one of these people. Literally sitting there, making up a statistic or manipulating data to try to get an emotional reaction out of you so that they can do what they want instead of what you need. For whatever the reason is, whether you think people should have access to firearms or not, whatever your belief system is, 
come to that conclusion on your own based on truth and accuracy rather than believing whatever you hear because it plucks your heartstrings and makes you feel good about your decision. That's the wrong way to handle it. And as I pointed out, you saw Whiskas, you saw Oasis. You can look this stuff up for yourself. You can sit there and play with these numbers all day and draw your own conclusions. You don't have to take my word for anything just because I showed you a chart. Go look for yourself. Go look for yourself. It's out there. You may have to uh, play around a little bit to figure it out. Not everybody is savvy in that area, but it's worth it. It's worth it to look at it logically and figure out the truth than to just allow yourself to continue to be fooled all the time. Like I said, people are not that smart, so be smarter than that. At least try. Thoughts? Guys, what do you think about all that? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Do you get where I'm coming from? Did that help you at all? Please do give the video a thumbs up. Easiest way to show your appreciation. Share it if you can. Probably the only way it'll get seen. This channel is very oppressed by ScrewTube. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Please do. Um, again, random cat images are strays that we take care of, and it does help with the loading algorithm. I've gone from 8 to 10 hours to get a video up to less than 10 minutes now because of the cat pictures. So the AI is watching. If you wanted to help the channel out, every little bit helps, and we sure do appreciate it, my wife and I and the cats, because we sure do plow through a lot of cat food. So if that's it, what more can I say? But stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.